Here is Devin's fresh coat. See her diving in. Heads down just a little bit into that streamline. So keep that head up just a little bit more. Pretty good looking pull out. Just keep that head in that neutral position. We do need to get just a little bit more depth so that you can actually get a little bit uh, better on that uh, breakout stroke. As you're going through, I'd like to see you actually work on getting those hands a little bit deeper in the water. Right now, your hands where they're at are pretty close to the surface. There's uh, the water line is about there, and you've only got maybe two inches uh, underneath from where your hands are. I'd like to see those drop down maybe another couple inches so that you really can get a much stronger pull. As you go through looking at the kick, look, uh, kick looks awesome. You're getting all the way around, getting those feet to all the way together. You have a pretty good angle on uh, your pullouts here. And one thing, yeah, I just like to see you get a little bit deeper, but then also keeping those elbows or those arms out in front of you. Your elbows are getting really far back, and so your angle with your arm is there. I would like to see your angle being more here. That'll help you actually get those elbows tucked together, give you a little bit more power through the up phase to get to that breath, and then it'll also end up creating just a little bit more power for you and a little bit more speed. Uh, she's got a little bit to work on, just keeping those arms out in front of you. I think that's going to help that breaststroke tremendously. Keep it up. Here we have Devin's breaststroke. So you go off, getting pretty good push on the start. Heel is down. We do need to get a little bit more depth because as you go through the pole, and one of the things that I'm seeing is you are coming up at a really pretty high angle. If we can keep it so that you're going more in a straight line, just using your body's natural buoyancy to kind of bring you to the surface, that'll make that timing work out just a lot better because as you hit right there, we're getting a lot of turbulence at the surface, which means you're kind of kicking towards the surface. And we want to make sure that you're getting down just a little bit deeper. As we go through, um, I feel like you're really having to lift your head up to breathe. You're not allowing that stroke because as you go through that out sweep right through here, you should be up ready to breathe at that point in time. And you're coming up just a little bit behind it. One other thing that I'd like to see you do is as you're coming up through here, I'd like to see you try and think about getting more of a butterfly feel into that stroke. So you're going to really press on your chest as you're leaning forward but then as you're finishing your kick getting a little bit of a downward chop really trying to make sure that you're getting the soles of your feet together and that'll help pop those hips up to give you a little bit more of that butterfly that wave like motion feel. We'll watch you come in for the turn here. A little long glide which I'd like to see you adjust that stroke a little bit more out by the flag so that we can make it one long, uh, one last stroke not having to glide in at all. As we watch you going through, you're doing the come into the wall, lift up, kind of roll around, and then go through. I'd like to see you come straight into the wall and then come straight back out that same line. Uh, so as soon as your hands hit the wall, you're going to really work on driving those knees up underneath your body. And then try and follow the back wall up to the ceiling. That'll kind of keep that head position, that body position in the right spot and then you're going to be able to push off that wall and hopefully that should be a much faster turn for you. Get you pushing off here and because of that turn you're not able to get your feet up on it, the wall as high as you should and so you're going through and you can see some disturbance in the water and that's because your heels are hitting right close to the surface just trying to get the start of the kick so we want to make sure we get those feet up a little bit higher in order to really try and get a much stronger kick for your underwater pull and underwater kick. Once we watch you going in, so now you should be really trying to judge that stroke. So when you're out here trying to judge for your turns and your uh, finish, you know, try and figure out what's going to be that proper timing so that if you've got to glide maybe just a second longer or take a little bit quicker pull, you're going to be able to do so. Um, it would have been one of those where I think we should have tried to speed up one of those strokes uh, maybe two, three strokes away from that wall so then as you go in for this last stroke you're going to be a lot longer and you're going to have all of your force and momentum carrying you forward for a much stronger finish. Nice job.